hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to recreate this look and i used um my boxy charm boxes here they are so we're gonna start off with skincare and the first product i received was this facial serum next up i'm gonna be taking this moisturizer Anything that I don't name, I'll have listed down below, so don't you worry, I got you. So after moisturizing, I like to apply um, an eye cream, but in this case, I'm going to be using the Good Molecules eye patches, which are super hydrating. And I'm also putting this on, so if I have any fallout from the eyeshadow, it can just fall onto the eye patch. So we're going to start off with the eyes and the next item I got was this palette from Zoela and these brushes. So the first shade that I'm going to take is this light pinky rosy type of shade and I'm going to be applying that all over my crease. So now I'm going to start off by cutting my crease and I'm going to be putting the concealer near my eyelashes and looking up so I get the perfect crease cut because I do have hooded eyes so I feel like I have to do this step and I'm also gonna bring it out next I'm gonna be taking the shade in the ground which is a darker color and I'm gonna be applying that to my lash line and I'm slowly gonna build it up I'm doing this to create an ombre effect and I'm also gonna be winging it out Next up, I'm taking the share air and water and I'm going to be putting that on top of the darker shade. So moving on to the liner, I'm taking the Big Ego um, Eyebrow Pomade by Tarte and I'm just going to be creating a wing with that. I'm going to be setting that with this dark shade from the palette called naturalistic so next in the box i also got this mascara it's by wander beauty and i actually really like this mascara it really lengthens my eyelashes so next up i'm applying the beauty by jacqueline lashes i'll leave a link down below where you can purchase them so for primer i received the professional primer and i'm applying that over my skin So for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is one of my favorite, and I'm just going to dab her all over my face and blend her up with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. For concealer, I'm taking the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer and applying it to the areas I want highlighted. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Setting Powder in the shade Translucent and I'm taking my Morphe sponge and blending it underneath my under eyes and the rest of my face. So I also received these brushes which are super soft and I've really been liking them. I'm going to be using one of the brushes to bronze my skin and I'm taking the shade Hula by Benefit. I'm bronzing my forehead, my cheeks, and my jawline.
Another one of my favorite products to apply is blush. And I also received this blush by Becca. It's the Luminous Blush in the shade Snapdragon. And I'm going to be applying that to my cheekios. I also received this iconic London Drops, which are super intense. Like, I couldn't believe how freaking extreme the highlight was. I was in awe. So I'm going back to my eyes and I'm gonna take the shade in the ground, which is a darker shade. And I'm gonna be applying that underneath my eyes. So now we're moving on to lips and I'm gonna be taking this lip liner by LA Girl in the shade brown and I'm gonna be lining my lips. I'm going to be taking this brush and blending the lip liner down to the center of my lips so the lines won't be too harsh. This ColourPop lipstick and applying it all over my lips. I can't find the shade right now but I'll leave it in the description down below. I'm going back to that brush and just blending both of the colors together so it can create an ombre effect. To tie everything together, I'm gonna be topping it off with this gloss and it's the color pop, no, correction, it's the Wet n Wild uh, lip gloss in the shade Featherless. To finish off the eye look, I'm going to be taking that same mascara and applying it to my bottom lashes. And like this look isn't glowy enough, I'm going to take this Ofra highlighter and applying it on top of that extreme highlight. To set my whole face, I'm going to take the Cover FX um, setting spray. And that's the final look, guys. Now enjoy this montage of me modeling for you guys. Mwah. Bye!